about uh, uh, multiple angles and uh, sub multiple angles and a few properties some standard result uh, we discussed right in this class i uh, will start uh, the problems which is belongs to class work to right sir can you teach little slowly sir am i going fast yes sir okay no problem i thought i am going slow <laughs> no problem uh first question 1 by cos 290 plus 1 by root 3 sin 250 is equal to lambda then 3 lambda square right okay what is the lambda value they given 1 by cos 290 plus 1 by root 3 times of sin 250 degrees okay then we need to find the value of 3 lambda square am i right student okay now lambda is equal to 1 by cos cos can i write sin 270 uh okay so uh, then you can take cos only directly cos of 270 plus 20 is it okay is 1 by root 3 times of sin 270 minus 20 is it clear students shall i write like this now you only tell me it is in the form of cos what is cos 270 plus theta what is sin theta 270 minus theta cos yeah first year you have to observe the trend is 7 so cos becomes sin ka because odd sin theta sin becomes cos theta but what about here 270 plus theta fourth quadrant just observe the input input is cos cos is positive in Fourth quadrant. Now here, what is input? Input is sine. Two seventy minus theta is third quadrant, and third quadrant sine is negative. Am I right? So finally, lambda is equal to one by sine twenty degrees minus one. We shall write minus here directly. One by root three times of root three times of cos 20 degree 20 degrees right now you can take lcm lcm what is the lcm here lcm is a uh, root 3 times of sin 20, sin 20, 20. and uh, cos 20 numerator is here uh, root 3 times of cos 20 Minus sine twenty, right? See, student, a uh, denominator. There is a property. What is that property? Like two sine theta cos theta, right? Two sine theta cos theta is equal to what? Two sine two theta. Sine two theta, right? Now, yet sine twenty cos twenty is there. And there is no two, so that I want to multiply and divide in with two. Is it clear? Multiply and dividing with two, then denominator clearly in the form of two sine theta cos theta. Okay, this is clearly in sine theta cos theta form. Okay, then 
we can write this as sine 2 times of 20 but what about numerator numerator also what i want to do is i want to multiply and dividing with 2 shall i write here even numerator also 1 by 2 times of root 3 will be there root 3 shall i write root 3 by 2 sorry multiply and dividing two root three, so 2 times of root 3 by 2 cos 20 minus 1 by 2 sin 20 divided by here denominator root 3 by 2 times of sin 2 times of 20 degrees now root 3 by 2 denominator in terms of sin so numerator also you can try to change in terms of sign okay cost because equal to so we can write cos 20 as sin 70 okay sin 70 otherwise you know you can write here 2 into this root 3 by 2 value shall i write sin 60 root 3 by 2 then this 1 by 2 shall i write cos 60 you can write cos 20 minus cos 60 into sin 20 all divided by root 3 by 2 into sin 40 in lambda is equal to 2 times of what about the it is in the form of sin a cos b minus cos b sin a exactly so that is nothing but sin a minus b sin a minus b so shall i write here root 3 by 2 as 2 by root 3 into sin a minus b what is a 60 minus 20 by sin 40 so shall i cancel these two so no sin 60 minus 20 is 40 for sin 40 by sin 40 so lambda value is 4 by root 3 4 by root 3 then question is 3 lambda square okay so root 3 lambda cross multiply is equal to 4 then squaring on both side left side is 3 lambda square is equal to 16 lambda value we got as uh, 4 by root 3, I cross multiplied, I squared on both sides. So finally, 3 lambda square value is what, student? What is the answer? First option. Am I right? Right. Any doubts in this question? Okay, fine. Now, next question, question number 2, tan 9 minus tan 27 minus tan 63. The tan 81. Tan 81. We can take tan 81 plus tan 9 minus in bracket we can write tan 63 plus tan 27. Okay, there is a property. What is the property we have? Okay. See, we can uh, do in the two ways. Uh, right. Uh, one way is that we can convert uh, like a tan you can write in terms of uh, uh, first and last these two you can write at one place okay we'll do in both the methods uh, what about that tan tell me question second question is tan Seven, nine tan nine okay plus tan 81 minus take common here i think minus of tan 27 tan 63 so tan 63 plus tan 27 degrees value is equal to what am i right students okay now 9 plus 81 is clearly 90 63 plus 27 is clearly 90. Okay, uh, is there any property like uh, tan A plus tan B, like uh, when A 
प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी टेन ए प्लस टेन बी एनी वन Once you can see that uh, compound angles, in compound angles, what is the property? Is there any property? Yes. Tan A plus tan B, sir. Yes. Tan A plus tan B by one minus tan A tan B. Sir. Okay, that is okay. That is for uh, like. Uh, Uh, tan a plus b formula, am I right? Yes. Sir. Anyhow, um, if I apply here tan a plus tan b, so uh, that is equal to ninety. When we apply that tan on both side, there are three three more methods are there. I am thinking about shortcut method. When we apply here tan, it can be written as nine plus. Are eighty one plus nine here. When I when I take tan on both sides, tan ninety is what student? Tan ninety. Not defined. Not defined. That is nothing but infinity. Infinity means we can write one by zero also. Because tan ninety nothing but what sin ninety by cos ninety. Sin ninety is one. One by zero we can write. Okay. So in that case we are going to get. Directly infinity. So, okay, do one thing. Sine tan nine can be written as sine nine by cos nine. Sine eighty one by cos eighty one minus a bracket. Sine sixty three by cos sixty three plus cos sixty three. Sorry, uh, sine. Twenty-seven by uh, cos twenty-seven. All of you take LCM. What is LCM here? Cos nine, cos eighty-one. Here sine nine, cos eighty-one, sine eighty-one, cos nine. Yes, sine nine plus. Sine eighty one, cos nine. Minus of here also same. Cos sixty three. Sixty seven, cos twenty seven. Yeah. Sine sixty three, cos twenty seven. Cos twenty seven. Cos sixty three, sine twenty seven. So nothing but what do you observe in numerator? Numerator in the form. That's all. Sine a cos b plus cos a sin b are also same. Sine of a plus b, sine of ninety. What about the ninety by this cos eighty one into cos nine minus here also same one by sir that is sine ninety by cos sixty three cos twenty seven. Sine ninety we can take common so. Sin ninety means one only, no? One only. Again, you can take LCM. So when I take LCM here, uh, like and also. Cos sixty three cos twenty seven minus cos eighty one cos nine. Okay. Otherwise, I want to do one thing. Your remaining value is one by cos eighty one cos nine minus one by cos sixty three. So we can convert to ninety minutes. Yeah. So why don't we multiply and dividing with the two here? Yeah. Now two by yeah two cos a cos b formula. Even uh, if we do one thing, otherwise, as I said, we can combine. Why don't we convert here? Simply, we can convert. Shall I write here? Cos eighty one as cos eighty one. Sine nine. Sine nine. Right here. Uh, shall I write twenty seven? Now nothing but two by two sine nine cos nine is 
sin sin into eighty eighty two by year sin twenty seven two sin twenty seven two into twenty seven fifty four fifty four fifty four okay in by sin eighteen we can do we can take common eighteen see here a uh, two you can take common then see clearly in multiple angles few values already given sin 18 value is given what is sin 18 amma sin 18 once you look at that value uh, root 5 minus 1 by 4 uh, exactly root 5 minus 1 by 4 this is 54 is root 5 plus 1 by 4 So this is root five plus one by four minus one by what is sine fifty four? Root five plus one. Uh, sorry, uh, this is root five minus one. Correct. Here it is minus here. Here it is. Anyhow, if you apply the sine three theta also, finally you are going to get like this. So sine eighteen is clearly root five minus. One by four, and sine fifty four is root five plus one by four. Once you can see the table, and tell me whether it is right or wrong. Two times of four by four. So you can take four also common, sir. Eight times. Four also common. Then what is the remaining value? Take LCM. One by two minus sir. Two will come, sir. Ah, uh, right. Let's see here. Root five plus one. So your root five plus one minus one. Four sir answer. Root five minus one. All of you simplify. Tell me answer. Here it will be eight. Eight times of your root five. Root five. Eight answer. into two by four sir. Two by four, five sir. minus one. Right. Two by four. The answer sixteen by four is four. Four is the answer. Okay. Four is the required. Answer. Any doubts? What I have done, I have converted into sine and cos. Have taken LCM. I have written uh, at one plus nine and eighty one because nine plus eighty one is ninety. Sixty three plus twenty seven is ninety. So that here numerator we got it as sine ninety. It is one. Sine ninety one. Sine ninety is one. So, and after that, I multiplied and dividing with two. Then, cos eighty uh, one. I have written sine uh, nine, and uh, cos sixty three. I have written as sine twenty seven. Then after I applied two sine theta cos theta formula, that is sine two theta. Okay. Finally, we got answer four. The next question. Question number three. Tan theta is b by a theta lies between just zero to pi by four. So what is the value of uh, uh, like this? So what to do, students here? Yeah, we can form a triangle and do well, find the value of hypotenuse, sir. Okay. So we can simplify this, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, we can equate this with four options, sir. What we are getting that will be the answer. Right. Good. And what is the correct option? Uh, only we should do. Sir. Okay, try. Question number three. See what is the value we need to find root over? I think a plus b by a minus b plus root over a minus b by a plus b. Am I right, students? Yes. Now we can write it separately, like a plus b. By root over a minus b plus root over a minus b by root over a plus b. See, take LCM. What is the LCM? Root a minus b to root a plus b. Am I right? So what about here? Root a plus b, root a plus b. Shall I write here directly a plus b plus directly a minus b? When I take LCM. We are going to get root of a plus b into root of a plus b whole square plus root of a minus b the whole square by denominator is same. 
So denominator is clearly numerator. These two values get cancelled. Sir, root over a square minus b square. Root over a square minus b square. But they given some value. What is the value they given in the question? Tan theta value they given that is a by b or b by a. B by a. B by a. Okay, we want to get b by a. To get b by a. They have given another condition also, sir. Zero less than theta less than pi by four. Yes, exactly. That uh, that is domain. In that domain only we need to find nothing but that is in first quadrant. Okay, right. Uh, so two a by I want to take a square is common. When I take a square common, shall I write b square by a square? Because I want to change it to b by a form because b by a already given tan theta. So shall I write two a by when I take a square outside a into square root of one minus b by a the whole square because b square by a square can be written as b by a whole square. Now here can I cancel a a and a? So finally shall I substitute here tan theta two by root over one minus b by a whole square means tan square theta. Tan square theta. Any formula for tan square theta? But what about the options? Okay, options they. But we can convert tan square theta, sine square theta, and cos. Yes, because options all are in terms of sine and cos. You must be convert. So two by square root of one minus sine square by cos square. Now take LCM. C square minus S square. By c square. C square minus c square is uh, cos two theta, sir. Exactly. By cos theta. Finally, two cos theta by root over cos two theta. This cos becomes numerator. Am I right? Cos theta square square root get cancelled. This cos theta becomes numerator. Two cos theta. Minus. So, what is the correct option? Two cos theta by root over cos two. Second option, am I right? Yes, Second sir. option is the correct answer. So, what I have done simply, whatever the value they are asking, I am taking that. I am taking LCM. Okay, uh, LCM will be root over a minus b, root over a plus b. Then after numerator directly, we are going to get the square root of a plus b whole square plus square root of a minus b whole square. Square square root get cancelled. Minus b plus b get cancelled. Two by square root of a square minus b square. Then, uh, but they given tan theta as b by a. So for that, I am taking a square is common. So when I take a square outside, a get cancelled. Finally, I substituted in place of b by a tan theta. I simplified. We got the second option. Right. Let us go for the next question. Sin theta plus alpha is equal to a. Theta plus beta is equal to b. Then the value of cos two times of alpha minus beta minus four ab of cos alpha minus beta is equal to what? Simple. See, student. Uh, fourth question. What are the conditions they given here? Sin of What are the given conditions? Sine of uh, yeah, theta plus alpha is equal to small a. Then sine of theta plus beta small b. equal to small b. Yeah, what is the value they are asking here? Cos of cos two cos of two into two into alpha, alpha minus beta. Minus beta. Okay, minus four a b. Okay, cos alpha minus beta is equal to what? Yes, sir. Am I right? Right. See, students, our uh, sine uh, theta plus alpha sine theta plus beta is given. Am I right? So here, uh, with help of this, can you able to find? Uh, 
cos theta plus alpha and cos theta plus beta because you know b nothing but by one by nothing but draw the triangle here alpha theta plus alpha in this triangle theta plus beta okay what is cos theta plus alpha ma with the help of this hypotenuse is 1 opposite is a 2 over 1 minus a square even sin theta is equal to root over 1 minus cos square theta cos theta is equal to root over 1, 1 minus sin square theta with help of this root over a square in the same way cos of with help of this cos of theta plus beta is equal to square root of 1 minus b square am i right yes sir okay understood because of cos theta is equal to root over 1 minus sin square theta and sin theta is equal to root over 1 minus cos square theta with help of this we can find we can easily find that okay next we got this now uh, what is the question cos of i want to find first cos of alpha minus beta shall i write alpha minus beta as cos of or theta plus alpha minus theta plus beta is here uh, both will be equal or not Yes, sir. Equal. Yeah, cos of a minus b. It is in the form of a. This is a. This is b. Cos of a minus b is equal to formula is what? Cos a. Cos b. Minus sin a. Sin b. Yeah, here I have written this formula. Is it right formula? What is cos a minus b formula? Cos a cos b. Plus, plus, plus c r. You should observe that. Okay, see, since we know that here, cos theta plus alpha, theta plus beta, sine theta plus alpha, theta plus everything we know that. So, what is cos theta plus alpha root over one minus one. a. This is root over one minus. B square here a into b. Am I right? This is cos of alpha minus beta. Okay, students. Now here a b plus a into b a b root over. Yeah, you can multiply this square root. One minus a square into shall I write one minus a square into one minus b square? Yes, we can write. When I multiply here plus root over one into one one minus a square b square plus a square b square. Am I right? This is just a cos of alpha minus beta. Cos of alpha minus beta. Then what is cos of Two times of alpha minus beta. Anyone? What is cos two theta formula in terms of cos theta? Cos two theta minus two cos two theta minus two cos two theta minus one. Two cos two theta minus one. Don't apply that uh, sine two theta and uh, minus cos two theta minus sine two theta. Sir, we can further simplify that. Again, uh, we should change. No, we should change again. In terms of cos alone, of course, uh, because uh, anyhow, okay. With alpha of this, shall I write here two cos square alpha minus beta minus one? Yes, two times of cos square. So a b. Plus root over one minus a square minus b square plus a square b square the whole square minus one. Now what to do? We have to simplify this. A plus b whole square formula. 
All of you simplify and tell me what is the answer. I mean, what is the value of cos two into alpha minus beta? So we should not consider any value like um, theta value is zero. Theta value is zero, no. Alpha value, you can take some value here and take here some uh, pi by six. Alpha value pi by three, you can take. So sine a value is uh, root three by two. D value is one by two. And theta value is zero. A value is and a substitute here. Alpha minus beta. So shall we do some shortcut method? I'm going to tell you shortcut method. See students. So see uh, this simplification and all square. Uh, these many steps it is not required in generally. So logically how to do that problem? So look at here. This is the given question. I mean all of you concentrate first. Don't simplify first. Look at here. Okay. Is there any theta in given question here? Any theta? No sir. Now shall I take theta is equal to zero then? Yes, sir. And alpha minus beta is there. I want to take alpha as some sixty degrees, and beta as some thirty degrees. So when I take theta zero, theta zero, alpha as sixty. What is the small a value, ma? Small a is equal to zero plus sixty. What is sine sixty? Root three by two. Root three by two. Then in the same way, what is b value here? When I substitute it as zero and one by two. So that uh, and what is uh, cos of two times of alpha minus beta? Two times of alpha is sixty degrees minus beta is thirty degrees. That is not what cos of sixty minus that again sixty. One by two, sir. One by two, and uh, this is one by two you got. Now this four AB four into A value is root three by two, B value is one by two, and the cos of cos of this value alpha minus sixty minus thirty. What is cos thirty? Root three by two. Root three by two. Okay, root three by two, right? So finally simplify these four. Four get cancelled. Two two is a four get cancelled. Root three into root three, three three by two. So this is. This clearly we got one by two, one by two minus three by two. That is equal to minus one. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now anyway, minus one we got the same a comma b value. What is a value? Root three by two. B value one by two. Which one of the following option will give the value minus one? That's all. Substitute in option one. Simplify. A values and b values. One minus a square three by four minus one by four is equal to easier minus four by four zero. First option answer zero. Second option one minus two three by two will get minus one by two will get. Yes, yeah, second option is right. Am I right? Yes, minus sir. four by two is one minus two is equal to minus one. So what is the correct answer? Is they given? Just look at the options. Here. Fourth one two, absolutely right. C student, which is easy. So generally, again, see, just this is the value of only cos two times of alpha minus beta. When you uh, apply the a plus b whole square and all. Okay. After finding this value, you should find four a b times of again cos of alpha minus beta. So then we are going to get the answer. So try to try to uh, substitute some alpha and beta value. If there is no theta, theta value is zero. I am taking sixty thirty. Not only sixty thirty, you can take alpha as ninety, beta as zero also. No problem. Alpha as ninety, beta as zero. So cos two times of ninety, ninety minus zero. So two times of ninety means one eighty. That case again will get very simple here. Here ninety means ninety minus zero. Two times of ninety one eighty. Cos 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 two
two times of 90 minutes, 180 minutes, cross 180, minus 1. This value completely 0, minus 1. In the same way here also, substitute those values. I like that, OK? Anyhow, you can do this simplification, Amma. OK? So two times of A square, B square, here A square, B square. Uh, a square b square plus here 1 minus a square 1 minus b square plus a square b square plus again 2 times of a b into root over this okay minus 1 simplification is too lengthy so this is the way you can do this okay let us go for the fifth question remember the shortcut method that's all the value of the expression, the value of the expression tan power 60, tan power 6 into 20 degrees and 33 tan power 4 20 degrees plus 27 tan square 20 degrees is equal to what? Yes? Sir, 20 is right? 60 by 3. 20? Uh, 20 is right? 60 by 3. Yeah, 60 by 3, okay. Then you sum multiple. Yeah, why not? You can. See, uh, there is a formula. As he said, 20 is there. 20 can be written as 60 by 3. Or uh, 3 times of 20 is degrees equal to? Shall I write 60 degrees? Now the question which is belongs to tan. Tan. Take tan on both sides. Tan 3 times of 20 degrees is equal to tan 60. Okay, tan 3 theta formula, anyone? What is tan 3 theta? 3 yes. tan theta minus tan cube theta. And you beat up by, by one, one minus, minus three tan square. Yeah. Exactly. Three tan square theta. Now, your theta value is 20 degrees. This is which implies so three tan 20 degrees minus tan 20 degrees whole cube by one minus three tan square 20 degrees. Is tan 60 value is? Root 3. Root 3. Now cross multiply. All of you cross multiply is 3 tan 20 degrees minus tan cube 20 degrees. Okay. Is equal to root 3 times of root 3 minus root 3 root 3. Tan square 20 degrees. We're getting like this. After that, what to do, students? Yes. After getting this, uh, now you have to square. So root 3, we can take uh, common. OK, root 3 can take common, or else we can uh, squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. When you're squaring on both sides, here a minus b will square. Right side also a minus b will square. Directly you'll get the answer when you're squaring on both sides. A square 9 tan square 20 degrees plus tan power 6 20 degrees minus 2a 3 tan 20 base tan cube 20 3ab the 2ab is equal to right side also root 3 whole square is 3 plus 9 into 3 into tan power 4. 20 degrees that is a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 2 times of root 3 into 3 root 3 into tan square 20 degrees all of you simplify tell me the answer so which implies 9 tan square 20 all values you can take it at one side tan power 6 into 20 so 6 tan power 4 20 minus 3 
minus 9 3 is a 27 tan 4 4 20 and minus becomes plus 2 into root 3 into root 3 3 3, 3 is a 9 9 2 is a 18 tan square 20 is equal to 0. So finally write in order first highest degree is first next least degree next to tan power 4 terms minus 6 minus 27 minus 33 minus 33 tan power 20 next square terms uh, 9 t square 20 18 t square 9 18 27 tan square 20 and uh, yeah, the question is what actually? The question, okay, we, we got, got this, we got this. Oh, right, right, right. This minus three value, take it right side plus three. That's it. What is the answer, students? E, sir. Clear? The answer will be three. Any doubts? I have written 60 as 3 into 20. Then I apply tan 3 theta formula, then I simplify. That's all.